Good morning. If you are proud, you have a wrong understanding, wrong valuation of who you are, you will have a very hard time. You will not be acceptable to God even, just like the Pharisee in the Gospel today. What did Jesus say? Pharisee took up his position <clears throat> and spoke this prayer to himself. He was not really lifting up his heart and mind to God. He was boasting to himself. And that is why proud people, <clears throat> as in the first reading, your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. Naglalaho o kaagad sapagkat hindi nababatay sa katotohanan. Ang kababaang loob ay katotohanan. According to St. Teresa of Avila, humility is truth. Humility is accepting the truth about yourself. Kung matalino ka, huwag mong i-devaluate yan. May mga Pilipino kasi na hindi naman ako. Tapos ang galing-galing naman pala, parang nagyayabang lang lalo. Si Putin. Putting the whole world in danger now. Ano ang analysis? He was very proud. He's the richest man in the world. His four yacht, yung isang yacht niya, needs 50 million dollars a year just for maintenance. Tapos because of his pride, he wanted to revive the Russian Empire which was broken, broken up ano, 30 years ago. So he looked for a flimsy reason. May mga Nazi daw. Ang tagal nang walang Nazi. May mga Nazi daw sa Ukraine. So, ang sabi niya sa kanyang mga tao, special military operation. It was an invasion. 31 days na. Binubugbog siya. 20% of his soldiers and equipment be destroyed kasi tumulong din yung iba nagalit sa kanya ngayon nagbabanta siya na mag nuclear war nag drill na sila nag practice na sila anong mangyayari kung magkasabugan ng atomic bombs tinago na raw niya yung kanyang pamilya doon sa malayong lugar isang tao proud wrong understanding of himself. Anong sasabihin ng mga Pilipina? Mamamatay ka rin. That's the truth about ourselves. Lagi nating kinikalimutan niya. So nagbago na ang pagtingin ng mga tao sa kanilang sarili. Because of science. But we're still proud. Copernicus already said the earth is not the center of the solar system. Galileo was persecuted even by people in the church. Could not accept. Then, Darwin said evolution. We came from the same root as the apes. We evolved, we branched off, sila nag parking na dito, tuloy-tuloy tayo, nag tayo ng nuclear bombs. Tapos, sabi ni Sigmund Freud, we are not really free because we are ruled by unconscious desires, especially sex and aggression. Nagbago na naman ang ating pagtingin about ourselves. So from an exalted position, bumaba tingin ng tao sa kanyang sarili. Sobra naman ang pagka-humble na devaluating the human being because in spite of all this, even if cultural anthropologists tell us that our culture shapes to a large extent, to a large extent only, how we think. Kung Pilipino ka, yung values ng culture, that's mostly what you also follow. But we are also free. Kung value ng culture, 
yung privatized devotion, you can be set free and pray not to yourself, but raise up your minds and heart to God with great effort. What I'm trying to say is that there's some element of freedom left. And that's why we are more heroic if we can really be humble and accept who we are. Especially, in the end, accepting death. Remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It is in that context, it is in that finite existence, temporary ka lang dito sa universe, where you find meaning, where you find God, where you find out who you really are. Hindi ka magyayabang. So, our faith tells us we really only understand our value. We really know only who we are if we ask this question. Who am I God before you? Sino ako Panginoon sa harap mo? Otherwise, you will become like a Pharisee. You will not look at things with the eyes of God. You will only look at yourself. I thank you. I am not like the rest of humanity. Greedy, dishonest, adulterous. Nakita pa niya yung tax collector. Or like this tax collector. Makasalanan niya. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. He was looking at himself. Not at God. Who am I God before you? That is the constant question we have to ask in the face of death. The Romans, in their cemeteries, sa Rome, sa gate na kalagay, Hudie mihi, Kras TV. Parang kinakausap ko nung nililibing ninyo na ako ngayon nililibing, bukas ikaw naman. Hudie mihi kras tibi. It is always in the light of death that we judge the value of things. That we put a value even to who we are. Kaya Lent, kaya Violet, always reminding us that we are sinners, we tend. It's easier for us to sin. Without the grace of God, we will not be here today. We will be the greatest sinner in the world. We have to recognize that also. We have to recognize that we have the freedom to accept God's grace. And that is where we find our sense of purpose, the meaning of our lives, the reason why we are here among the stars and the galaxies and the planets. Who am I God before you? You answer that question correctly, you will find out who you really are. That is our prayer during this Mass today.